Hey there, Sharon horn from here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. Today is day five of our Do One Thing a Day that makes you happy. And what makes me happy is wearing my awesome Christmas pajamas that my daughter gave me. She gave them to me, and I wanted to wear them one time before I pack them away until next Christmas. And using the amazing Christmas mug that my sister gave me. Now this one I'll probably keep out and use for a while longer, because it's just got a tree on it. A tree can be decorated even after Christmas. I remember I went on a walk in the state park. And somebody had decorated for Christmas one of the trees in the state park on one of the remote trails. I think probably so that the rangers wouldn't find it and undecorate it. Because if they find stuff like that, they undecorate it because it's not meant to be in nature. But it's like the animals had decorated a tree for Christmas. It was so fun and so special. And I remember every time I walked on that path and it was actually there till springtime. I think it was spring before the rangers actually took that path and realized that there was a tree decorated there. But it was so fun to see. So... Trees can be decorated after Christmas, and they can be up as long as you want. We used to always have that discussion with my ex-husband about how long the Christmas tree was allowed to stay up before it had to be taken down. Now, today, I'm actually taking it down today. It's been up a little longer than usual. I'm hanging out with my granddaughter, so a project, a fun project for us is to take down the Christmas tree and pack up all the decorations. But what does that have to do with us being happy? And finding one thing every day that makes us happy. From the book, of course... Do one thing a day that makes you happy. I'm going to, this entire year, share one thing every day from this book and we'll do one activity that makes us happy. It just stimulates our thinking and allows us to give ourselves permission to find ways all the time to be happier. I did and am just finishing up a 365 day challenge of doing one thing a day that scares me and stretches my comfort zone. And this is kind of the sister book. I believe that do one thing a day that scares you came out first and then this one came out a couple years later. I think this one was actually published in 20, 2017 maybe. <clears throat> Need the magnifying glass. In, yep, 2017 this one was copywritten. So this one really just came out last year. And <clears throat> I found it up at the cabin. And I thought, okay, I've had so much fun doing one thing a day that scares me. I'm going to do one thing a day that makes me happy. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, I'd much rather be happy than scared and fearful and doubtful, right? So why not focus on what I want this year? So that's what I'm doing. Last year was the year of overcoming um, negative doubts and feelings and worries and limiting beliefs and being scared and fearful of anything by doing one thing a day that scares me. And I hope you did it along with me. If you didn't, just message me and I can get you access to that if you want to knock those things out of your life and stretch your comfort zone so that you can get whatever you want. But this year, we're going to focus on being happy because... Our mission, our purpose here is to be happy and find more joy in our lives. So what do we got today? Today is a sayings day. And I think it said stay, I said stay up all night. So what is something that you would stay up all night for? Let's think about that. And the saying in the challenge today says, find me playing till sunrise for 50 cents and a sandwich. And that's by Muddy Waters. And then our challenge says, what I would be delighted to do all night for 50 cents and a sandwich. Now I actually listed things that I've done all night for free, for nothing, for no sandwich, maybe some coffee and um, no no money just by volunteering my time and energy because mostly I was curious about it. And here's what I wrote down. Spend time with people I love and care about or that I'm curious about. I've stayed up way past my bedtime, which is like 9 or 10 o'clock these days because I get up at 4. Um, I've stayed up late, well past that. If I'm with people that I'm curious about, interested in, that I love and care about, that I want to spend time with, um, or if I wanted to just be there for someone. I remember when my dad was dying, we, I stayed up all night with one of my sisters and my daughter to be with him when he passed away. So people we love and care about, people we're curious about, people we want to be there to support, we'll stay up all night for. And we don't have to get paid to do it. Uh, I have stayed up all night researching subjects. I remember when the internet came out. <laughs> I was so enamored with the internet and how it worked and that way there was so much information at my fingertips. And this was a couple of decades ago, right? When we human, other normal human beings started to have access to the internet. I remember staying up all night, like till five o'clock in the morning when I had to get ready and go to work more than one night to, because I was curious and I was following rabbit trails and I was, I was so enamored at all this information that was available at our fingertips. And that was such a long time ago. There wasn't even that much, but there was still way more than I could comprehend and I could consume. Um, reading, if I didn't have to read with a magnifying glass, 
I would stay up all night reading, watching a good movie or a subject that I'm curious about, a documentary or something I'm interested in will always keep me up all night. But it's mostly people and relationships, you know, people we love and care about that will keep me up all night and I don't have to get paid for it. And, <clears throat> um, and experiences, new experiences will keep me up all night too. So that's it. What would keep you up all night? What would you stay up till the wee hours of the morning doing if you got 50 cents on a sandwich? I guess the sandwich to keep your energy up and the 50 cents to cut. I don't know, 50 cents. This was must, Muddy Waters must have been from a long time ago where 50 cents would have motivated anyone. I mean, to me, I'd rather do something that I would do for free because I love it. I used to do Oh, I would create things too. I would stay up all night creating things or crafting things. And it might be crafting an actual thing. It might be um, creating a new business idea or a new idea. It might be writing. I love to write. So I might stay up all night writing in journals and things too. So what would keep you up all night? Whether you got 50 cents in the sandwich or not. Go ahead, share in the comments below. Because this pajama grandma would love to know. And I would love for you to invest in the process and investing in the process is participating and finding ways that you can be happy. So go out, find some way to be happy today and I will be with you tomorrow.